And welcome back to this inauguration edition of Hannity. It is a segment that everybody's talking about. Last Friday night, we introduced to you the world champion shooter, Jesse Duff, when she demonstrated right here on this program the difference between various guns. Now, Jesse first shot an AR-15, followed by three other firearms. Watch this. The thing I want to show you, the 223, the big, bad, scary rifle, AR-15, this is the impact that the projectile made out of it. Uh, as you can see over here, we have the 30 out 6 It's obviously a lot bigger than the AR-15. The slug is a lot bigger than the 30 out 6 bigger than the AR-15. And then last are this pattern. I mean, you can see the difference. So uh, what I wanted to show you was that this is the least of your worries out of everything that I fired today. And this is what is trying, this is what they're trying to ban. Now that demonstration quickly became the talk of the blogosphere. Joining me now with reaction, Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall and former Virginia GOP chairwoman Kate Obenshane. Welcome both of you on this inauguration night. Thanks um, so much. Hi. Uh, I'm glad I'm not the president, not that anyone would ever vote for me, but I would not want to have to dance in public like that. And I give the president and first lady. I can't believe you didn't lady. dance at your own wedding. I you didn't did. Dance. wrong. No, I didn't. It's not wrong. I don't like it's to wrong. dance. I can't dance. Sorry. See, it's humiliating. It's wrong. <laughs> uh, all right, now now my wife's going to be rolling her eyes at home. All right, you know, Leslie, <laughs> look at look at this. You got the bullets. We'll show it again. The AR-15, 30 out six. Then you got a slug and the slug with pellets. You see the the difference in terms of the damage. It is a distinct difference. The bigger holes by the shotgun and the 30 out six, they're not banned. But the AR-15, that's the big bad evil rifle they want to ban. Now, does that make sense to you? Well, it does make sense to me for two reasons. One, I think actually we should thank Jesse for all the other guns that we liberal Democrats need to put on that list. We thank you for that. Oh, but the okay. reason, so though, Sean, all everything. joking aside, no, all joking aside, you know, when you look at the aftermath of, of Newtown, when we look at what happened in Aurora and just over the weekend in Albuquerque, that was the rifle used. Now, again, it's not just the gun. It's the gun in the wrong hands. Remember, the NRA doesn't want the guns banned, but at the same time, there's, they don't want background checks at gun shows. They don't, how do you keep these out of the hands of people who are possibly nothing, mentally unfit or violent? There is nothing in these new laws, Kate, that is going to prevent, which we all want, another right. tragedy. But th there's a lot of movement, a lot of hysteria, a lot of anti-gun rhetoric. They would make, and uh, Andrew Cuomo, we're going to be safer. Lives are going to be safe. That is just fundamentally not true. And right. You never hear any reasonable um, explanation for how this is actually going to have a positive impact. And what the segment with Jesse showed, the complete <laughs> emptiness of this legislation in that the most dangerous weapons are the more popular ones, the handguns and the rifles, and they're not on the list because it's much easier for the Second Amendment opponents to go after the big, scary-looking guns. I mean, with the cosmetic features that do nothing to enhance the uh, shooting capacity, but it really showed that this is just an attempt to label guns as scary and dangerous, but they're not, these, these yeah. ridiculous restrictions are not actually going to have an impact in terms of making us any safer. In fact, it's well, going to make us this, more Let me throw this mm. back to Leslie. Say, yeah, I mean, for example, they showed in the New York Post two guns, the exact same guns, exact same caliber. One has a cosmetic pistol grip, and that's banned, but the same gun is not banned, as you can see there on the right. screen. Now, the second thing is, I'm worried most about incrementalism, Leslie. I mean, New York started with a 10 magazine clip. They went down to seven. Seven's a magic number because that then renders 95% of handguns um, to the point where you can't purchase them. So that's handgun control as well. Do you support that? I support keeping with the Constitution. I do not see anywhere the in the right Constitution of the to keep and bear that talks not about semi-automatic weapons, seven or ten uh, clips with, with a magazine. And this is, once again, what you guys are missing is this is not just about guns. This has got to be a comprehensive, multifaceted approach to a violent problem that we have in our nation. We That's have people dying not just because of the guns. It's not just about the guns. That's what the NRA wants to highlight. And that's what we're, we're talking about, the guns. But there's a lot more to it, guys. I mean, you know, the, the parents but banning, are the people banning being responsible gun citizens. owners. Leslie, I'll throw this to Kate. They, in the case of New York now, they are banning law-abiding citizens in a very dangerous city from having the ability to buy a semi-automatic pistol uh, to protect yeah. themselves and their family. That's why they right, did seven amazing. bullets. I assume that's what the federal government eventually will get to. 
Right, and you're hearing story after story, particularly of women who are in the position of having to defend themselves and their children against violent predators who come into their home and they need these magazines that have more than seven rounds in them. Why is it wrong for somebody trying to defend themselves to have multiple rounds? What is the magic number with seven? And I think one of the great things about the segment the other night was showing how effective women are, Sean, in really getting the, this message out there and conveying to people that it's an issue that affects all Americans, not just hunters, but people are concerned about self-defense. All right, guys, thanks very much. We